Welcome back to Houston, everybody. So, uh, today, it's gonna be a short one, and this time I'm almost sure of it, because there's not really a whole lot to do. Um, I'm gonna go to our contracts again here. So, if we go to our forwards, we actually have a pretty decent team here. So, our first line is basically this, Barzell, Raymond, and Boss, okay? Unfortunately, Boss and Raymond both shoot right, which is unfortunate, but it works anyway, okay? Um, a second line... We will have New Hook playing. Actually, we might even put Ol Ha uh, No, we won't. We won't. I think the second line is going to be Olafson, New Hook, and then maybe Robert Thomas. Because I want to try and get. So he's a sniper. New Hook. Are you a playmaker? You are perfect. So that'd be nice. Okay. Um, we need to try and fit Zabinijad in there somewhere. He's listed as a third line scorer, so we could play him on the third line. I know the game isn't going to want to do that, but we might have <laughs> might not have a choice. Um, Schmaltz can go. Actually, maybe he can replace Zabinijad. We could probably put Robert Thomas on the third line. And then, yeah, he can play with, uh, Lundestrom. And maybe he can play on the right side and we'll put McLeod in the middle. So we have a very solid third line. I do want to re-sign you. Mm, how much? How much? Uh, you want to re-sign? I'll be generous and <laughs> give you that. Hopefully he says yes. And then our fourth line... Basically, we can just make it up. So we could put Ho Sang on the fourth line. Maybe he is a playmaker, which isn't most ideal. But, uh, yeah, we definitely have Max Jones there for that. We could finally use Trent Frederick. <laughs> Bring him up. Although he does have 67 discipline. Um, we could also use Forrest back at Carlson, two-way forward. Trent Frederick is a power forward, so we could have two power forwards. But, yeah, really, we don't need much here. Okay, so we're pretty good on forwards. And I'm in a spot where I think I'm finally happy where we don't have too much going on. These guys can all play. We might even be able to bring Suzuki up for that fourth line. 99 discipline. Oh, yeah, that's why I brought him back. That's right. Okay. So, yeah, that's the options there. And if we go to, sorry, our defenseman. Actually, no, we should be good. Defenseman. We have a pretty good setup here as well. We have uh, Miro and Sergachev, Bouchard, Kavanov. And then we have Hag and Addison, so they can still get the job done. 82 discipline is pretty good. What about poise? Where is that, anyway? Why can't I find poise? Is it not here? Or my, Oh, there it is, 78. That's not great. Hag has 86 poise. Okay, so he's good in pressure games. And 81. Bouchard, 81. Sergachev has 86. That is good. And then we get 88 from Miro. Okay, so yeah, our defense... Isn't bad either. I mean, we could maybe use another for the fourth pair, but they're still solid. I don't think we really need to add anything there. And then in net, I mean, we still have <laughs> Di Pietro. You guys said to give him another go. Apparently, he can do well. He did get a 9-10. So, you know what? He didn't play that bad. Yeah, he still played solid. And Teal did very well with a 9-16. He only played 16 games, but he still did all right. So, I have... Try to extend, I think, one of the coaches and two of the scouts. So those are going through now. And yeah, maybe when we get to free agency, I can try to extend Teal and see what he wants. Um, I don't want to give him a super long deal. But, you know, at least we can add another layer of security for next year and get him while he's only 81 overall. So for now, let's advance a day. Okay, so McLeod said no, and so did Dal Cole. Nice. There's two players we tried to resign, and they both said no. Thanks, guys. Uh, let's go to this. Actually, no, that's not going to be a good way to do it. Yeah, New Hook. I'm thinking we just bring New Hook in. We might as well. No, not you, Schmaltz. Sorry. And McLeod. Okay, I'm going to try giving you... You know what? I'll give you more than what you want. You have been down on the third line for us for a while. I like you, and I think that's a decent contract as well it says you want to resign prove it all right there you go that should maybe get him to resign del cole as well i'll give you that there you go yeah all right all good all good and then smith wants a one-way deal which i am not willing okay so you don't have enough budget i thought that wasn't a thing all right noted i see a bunch of players resigning there we got our one scout back, the other scout back as well. And okay, we got McLeod, Dal Cole, Hosang, we got the trio there. Very nice. 
And now, I think that's all I wanted to do. Let's set up to free agency. Can you... I think you can do contract extensions here. Okay, ho yeah. A coach is not renewed. I will deal with that. Contract limit warning. Whatever. Let us go to contracts. And I would like to go to our goalies. Can I give you a contract extension? Yes, I can. Oh, he doesn't want anything. If I... Should we try to lock him up for three years? Like, that's not a momentum killer contract, you know? Takes him till he's 25. I think that's not a bad deal. We have the cap space. We're not hurting for cap, so I'm gonna try to give him this for the years after this one. Gonna take some time to get back. That is understandable. Do we have anybody else that we have to worry about after this year? Kavanov. Oh, no. He wants E. Yeah, okay. So, I kind of want to give him an extension. Lundestrom's probably going to want a raise. Yeah, going to probably let him go then. We pretty much only brought him in because of how little he wanted. Um, Hag, they both want extensions. Jones, oh, Jones up to 81. Nice. He, was he there before? I don't know. But anyway, he actually wants less, which is nice. Hag doesn't want a super big increase, but an increase nonetheless. Kavanov, I'm not letting you go. No shot. But I won't sign you just yet. I'll leave you for now. Yeah, okay, so, I guess we'll sim up to the, oh, we're already there, nice. So, free agency time. Let's see who's available. Sort by, ooh, Kaprizov. Overall, yeah, there you go. So, I will show you everyone. Oh, look at this guy. Meet him elite, 87 overall. And he has an X-Factor, attaboy. Yeah, pretty solid. First line sniper. Okay, he kind of, kind of reminds me of Boss. But anyway, new hook is here. We'll see if anyone tries to sign him. And there actually is a team interested, so we might have to match whatever they offer him. And yeah, we got restricted there, restricted there. Any other restricted players? For the most part, it seems like it's UFAs. So let me actually just sort by UFAs for now then. And UFA. Okay, so these are the players available. I will scroll through them all, see if there's anyone you guys think we should bring in. Even though, why is he on such a good deal? But we don't have room for him anyway. It doesn't really make a difference. Like, I, there's no one we really need to bring in, you know? If anything, it would maybe be a goalie. But I don't think we even need that. So here's all the players in free agency this year. Wow, this is a big free agency. Lots of players to pick from. Even Kaprizov, that is crazy. But, yeah, I don't think we're going to be trying to get him. And if we go to goaltenders... We've got Freddy, 89, but he is 36. And then we have Demko, 30 years old at 87. You see what I see, 86 overall. Okay, yeah, decent. Let's see if there's any steals in terms of... Yeah, medium starter. That's not bad. Medium starter, 20 years of age, 61 overall. Decent. This guy's already 72 overall. Dustin Wolf. Interesting. Um, I think we're we're still good. I don't think we need to really do that. And we already have a lot of prospects already, but let's sort by this anyway. So there's medium top six. There's basically a bunch of medium top six players here. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these pique your guys' interest, but yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one. I showed you guys everyone that's available on free agency. I've shown you our roster. What do you guys think we should do? Should we bring anyone in? Should we let the team run as is? And, yeah, I think that's about it. Let me actually go to the coaching staff. Nope, not fine trade. That was close, but uh, didn't quite nail it. Let's go to coaching staff. Yeah, there we go. And we lost our assistant coach, which is lame. NHL head coach. Is there... Actually, let's just sort by NHL head coaches. Anyone that is an A or A+, and has better than 53 team fit. Oh, my word. 67 is insane, and he's an A. I think we should try to get this guy. But what about the budget? Like, I know you guys said the budget doesn't matter, but... To me, it looks like the budget does matter. <laughs> okay, so this guy is 67% fit. And he is an A. We got two 66s here that are A-, minus. so... This guy seems like he would be nice to have. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yep, don't even need your guys' permission for this one. Franco... You done well, but 53% uh, fit. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to let you go. No, I don't want to do that. I want to let you go. Confirm. Yep. So he was making quite a lot of money, 
So I'm going to try to hire this coach for now. And I'm not going to try to hire any assistant coaches or anything. We have quite a lot of room to sign this guy. So I'll give him that and offer him the contract. There you go. Nice. Hopefully he signs. Otherwise, we are screwed. But there are other coaches here. There's A-minuses that are 66, I believe. So we're going to have a good fit nonetheless. That might help our chemistry quite a bit. So I am going to temporarily promote you to NHL head coach. And the goalie coach can temporarily become the associate coach. Yep, there we go. That's all we need. Decent. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you soon.